So as you may or may not know, I'm a huge fan of ramen and I've traveled to a couple of restaurants within Sydney to try different kinds of ramen. And I also watch a lot of ramen documentary. I can eat ramen every single day and not get sick of it. So anyway, today I'll be sharing with you how to make a vegetarian ramen. How it started was one day I decided to invite a group of my friends to have some ramen at my place. And there were two vegetarians within the group, so I had to come up with a vegetarian version of ramen. And turns out the recipe was so good. So today, I'm excited to share this with you and I really hope you try it out. So, let's go! The good bowl of ramen is built on three main components. The first one is the broth. So here I have built the base of the broth with carrots and leeks. I also have used some Chinese cloud ear fungus where I have simply soaked it in water and then when it's rehydrated, transfer them into a soup pot. I've also used shiitake mushrooms. They work really well in soups. Then add in some garlic cloves, ginger and about 2.5 liters of water. To that, add in a quarter cup of soy sauce. Let that boil on low heat for at least 2 hours. I've actually let mine simmer for 2 hours and then I've left it overnight. Your broth should now be brown in colour. And now you want to scoop up a bowl of broth and to that I've added miso paste. Simply dissolve that in the bowl and pour it back into the pot. I've let mine simmer for a further 20 minutes, then simply remove the veggies. Actually, I should have removed the veggies first before adding in the miso. Anyway, what you want to do now is to remove all the cloud ear fungus and either discard the rest of the veggies or keep it for something else later. With the fungus, just slice them into thin strips and set that aside. This will serve as one of the toppings later. The second component is our soft boiled eggs. Now bring a pot of water to a boil and then reduce it to a slow simmer. Put in your eggs in the pot and let that simmer on low heat for precisely 7 minutes. Then you want to remove them and place them directly into cold water. And then you know the drill, just peel them and place them into a ziplock bag. Now for the seasoning, I've made 100ml of soy sauce to 400ml of water. Then pour only half of that soy sauce mixture into the bag. You're gonna use the other half in the next step. Zip the bag up and leave it to marinate for at least 2 hours for the flavours to soak into the egg. After 2 hours, your egg should now have a light soy colour. Let's carefully slice that in half and enjoy that 2 seconds of ecstasy. Now let's move on to our toppings. Since there's no meat involved in this, I've decided to use firm organic tofu instead. And I've also decided to add some colour by adding tomato. Now, to a pot, pour the remaining soy sauce mixture, add a slice of ginger, sake, mirin and sugar. Let that dissolve and turn off the heat once the mixture starts to boil. Have your tofu and tomato in a ziplock bag and transfer the soy mixture into the bag. Just like the eggs, you will need to marinate this for at least 2 hours. But I left mine overnight. After 2 hours, you are ready to fry your tofu. This is simple. All you need to do is pan fry each side for at least 2-3 to three minutes or until golden brown. Then pan fry the tomato for about 2 minutes on each side. I like to have the inside soft and juicy, so if you like your tomato fresh and crunchy, then there's no need to fry this. Now to the third component of a good ramen. It is the seasoning, also known as tare. Pour the tofu seasoning back into the pan or pot, add a tablespoon of soy sauce and some pepper. Let it boil and reduce the water level to make the mixture slightly more concentrated. You can taste it, but what you should be after is a very salty and concentrated flavour. 
Now we are ready to put everything together. First up, add 2 tablespoons of tare into a bowl. Then ladle in about half a bowl of vegetable miso broth. And then to the noodles. Bring water to a boil. Next, add your ramen noodles. If you can't find them in your local store, then thin egg noodles will work as well. Let that boil for 1 minute or completely cooked. Then strain the water off. You have to make sure that you shake off as much water as you can as you do not want to dilute your soup with noodle water. Add that to your bowl and carefully mix the noodle with the soup. Then add all your toppings. I've also prepared some spring onions and some toasted sesame seeds. Okay, now here's the secret ingredient. I've added a quarter teaspoon of lemon zest. Now trust me on this, it's going to revolutionize this bowl of ramen and bring your taste buds to a whole new level. Don't forget those seaweed sheets too. And that is all done, vegetarian ramen. Seriously guys, do try it out and you will not be disappointed. So, please hit like if you like this video and if it made you hungry and share it too. Lastly, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter and also hit the subscribe button for more recipes. I'll see you soon.